Hey guys, it's Shauna. Just try to be nice. Are you a mom like me who sometimes really lacks motivation to clean her house? Because I do a lot. And I wanted to do this quick video so that you would see that you're not the only one. You're not the only one. At least I hope I'm not the only one. And I wanted to just do a quick little video because my lack of motivation for cleaning the house is probably different from most people's. I grew up in a really, 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 really dirty home. Like, really dirty. If you've ever seen an episode of Hoarders, if Hoarders was around when I was a kid, I would have totally contacted Hoarders and tried to get my mom on the show. 100%. And she would have gotten on the show because the house was ridiculously dirty. All Every house we ever lived in looked like a Hoarders house. It wasn't just one house. Every house we ever lived in looked like a hoarder's house. So when you grow up in a really dirty house like that and you have, you know, clutter and you're used to clutter, then you don't really see clutter. And that's something I never realized until I married my husband because my husband sees clutter because he was raised in a really nice house with a mom who had a maid and they took care of everything. Their house was always clean. He always had clean clothes. You know, the floor was always vacuumed. Like, I mean, it's ridiculous how clean the house was kept, to be honest with you. The standards are a little too high, if you ask me. But um, the point is, for instance, right behind me. You see all that up there? See all that? See all that over there? That's my tea, because I love tea. Here, I'll show you. I love me some tea. Look, let me show you. So this is my cabinet. My tea cabinet. Tea. Well, I should be fair. Tea and coffee, but mostly tea. Although I do go through phases where I drink a lot of coffee, and then I'll go through a phase where I'll drink nothing but apple cider, and then I'll go through a phase where I drink nothing but hot chocolate. But currently, I'm on a tea kick. So there's some of my tea, and 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 these are my glasses that I drink my tea in. And up there is extra stuff. Like, there's some chai up there, there's some chamomile, I actually need to get that chamomile down. There's some extra coffee up there, there's some chai, there's some tea bags, and over here, it's all tea. This whole big container right here, full of tea. That whole box back there, full of tea. So, needless to say, I love tea. But I don't want my children as clean and organized as I probably should. Hold on, I have to put the charger back in. Sorry, my phone is about to die. There we go. So, needless to say, the clutter and the clutter, I don't I don't I don't have a problem with that. Like, to me, I don't have a problem with that at all. I know most people do. Most people come in and they're like, dang, you should uh you should put that in a box or something. I, I mean, I don't know what normal people think. It's not like they come to my house and say your house is dirty. But I know my house is cluttered. My house is clean, but my house is cluttered. And in my brain, it's like every day it's a struggle. Every single day, just to do the dishes is a struggle for me. Because I have the part of my brain that's from my past that's saying, you don't need to do those dishes. Girl. You got like two cups in that sink. Wait till you get like five plates, some spoons, some knives, some forks, and a couple cups. Then you can unload the dishwasher. Why unload the dishwasher now when you could unload the dishwasher in a few more minutes? Why? Why do it now? And that, it's a rational thought. I mean, it's not like, girl, throw the dishes away. I mean, it's not like crazy, irrational thought that makes no sense. It's a rational thought. Okay, it's okay. You can be a little lazy for a little while longer. You can prolong having to do the work. And then the other part of my brain, which is the present part of my brain, which is this part of my brain, which is constantly saying, so you have two cups in the sink. So you either leave those cups in the sink until there's plates and knives and forks and other stuff, and then it's a task, a task. You have to start running the water, you have to fill the water with sink, with, you have to fill the other sink with water, you have to wipe off the oatmeal, you have to get the hard baked stuff off. It becomes a task. Whereas, if there's just two cups in the sink, you open the dishwasher, you rinse the cups out, you put them in the dishwasher, you close the dishwasher, you don't run it. Don't run it. Just leave it in there with the dishes in there. Your sink looks clean. Your counter looks clean. It just looks better. But, 
Then this part of my brain says, who cares what it looks like? Ain't nobody coming to your house looking at your damn dishes, girl. Shoot, why are you being like that? Why are you being like that, girl? Leave those cups there and go upstairs and watch some TV. Shit. Go upstairs and watch some TV. What? You ain't got to be cooking. You ain't got to be cleaning. You ain't. Take your kids to McDonald's. You ain't got to be cooking no food. This is the voice that is constantly, constantly running. Constantly. Trying to convince me to take the easy way out. Trying to convince me that it's okay to be lazy. Trying to convince me that I don't have to do that. Nobody's making me do that. But the truth is... I am making me do that. My husband does make me be accountable. And after 15 years of marriage, I will tell you, I keep a much better house than I did when we first got married. Because my husband's level of cleanliness is, my husband's level of cleanliness is like here. Normal people levels level of cleanliness is like here. OCD people, they're up here. I'm not saying he's crazy. But normal people are here. My level of cleanliness when we first got married down here. <laughs> so as, you know, as we've gotten 15 years of marriage, <laughs> my level of cleanliness is here. Normal people is here. My husband is here. So I, I just, I'm trying to find a happy medium between my level of cleanliness and his level of cleanliness and trying to get him to realize like normal people level of cleanliness, my level of cleanliness. Like I need to work on being more clean and you need to work on lowering your standards. But I will say he does help me to be accountable because the dishes have to be clean by the time he gets home. Dinner has to be cooked by the time he gets home. Counters need to be clean. The kids need to be homework done. You know, those are just things that need to be done. And it's not like he comes in and is like, did you do the dishes? It's not like that at all. He comes in and if the dishes aren't done, then he does the dishes. And if the kids' homework's not done, then he does the homework. But the problem with that is... I want to get the kids done, get the kids in bed so we can watch TV and we can hang out and we can play video games. And I can't watch TV, hang out, or play video games at all until everything is done. So it's not even like my husband comes in, did you do the dishes? No, I didn't do the dishes. Okay, she didn't do the dishes. I'll do the dishes. But then that's another 30 minutes before I can get upstairs to watch TV. And I want to watch TV and I want to spend a couple hours with my husband before I have to go to bed. And on the days when I don't get stuff done and he has to do them... I don't get to spend that time with him. So it's not like my husband's abusive and I have to do the dishes. It's not like that at all. It's if I want to get what I want, which is to watch Bates Motel or The Walking Dead or How to Get Away with Murder or some show that I don't ever get to watch when they come on TV. I always record them and watch them later. If I want to watch that show, I got to get my stuff done. Now, I could not do my stuff at all and watch those TV shows during the day, but I, I can't do that because this part of my brain is like, mm -mm -mm -mm. too much like your mama, too much like your mama. I don't watch TV during the day. I try really hard not to get on Facebook. If I do get on Facebook, I have a rule where, <laughs> and it's kind of silly, but one of my coping mechanisms is I have a lot of rules for myself and I follow them and they help me. One of my rules is, if I'm going to get on Facebook, I can earn the privilege to get on Facebook, but I have to do 55 minutes of cleaning first. And I will set my timer on my phone for 55 minutes. And I will listen to music, or I will listen to a book on tape, or I will do, you know, I will put the phone down. <laughs> put the phone down, Shauna, put the phone down! I will put the phone down on the counter, right here. I'll put it right here, that's why the charger's right there. I'll put it right there. And I'll listen to music or I'll listen to a book on tape and I'll clean for 55 minutes. And then when the timer goes off, when the alarm goes off after 55 minutes, then I give myself five minutes of time to do what I want. And I can go on Facebook in that five minutes. I can go on my little farm game and play for five minutes. I can go on Upworthy and watch a TED talk for five minutes. Whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Mmm. I can go on Pinterest and fool around and look at recipes and fun craft stuff that I want to do for five minutes. But I can only do that if I've done 55 minutes of work first. And that way, I know that I'm getting my work done and I'm not using Facebook as a distraction. Because I, I used to do that a lot. I used to sit around on Facebook for like 45 minutes with a big pile of laundry right beside me. And it's like, that should be the other way around. You should be doing laundry for 45 minutes, and then you should be on Facebook for five minutes. And it just, when it clicked like that, 
Now I don't have a problem with it. <coughs> so I just wanted to do this really quick video. I'm going to go now because I really have a lot of stuff I need to clean. I just wanted you to know if you are like me and if you struggle with the past and the present constantly arguing and fighting with each other, you're not alone. I do it too. Every single day is a struggle for me to do my dishes, but my dishes get done every day. Every day is a struggle for me to do laundry, but my kids always have clean clothes. <coughs> Sorry. Every day is a struggle for me to cook and to not just order food out. But ever since Kylie got sick and was all gluten casein free, 80% gluten casein free, we can't really eat out. It's not really as much of an option as it was before. So that I and I don't really have a choice but to cook for her. So I kind of enjoy cooking. I'm good at it and I enjoy doing it. And you've seen my videos to prove I actually do cook for my family, even though I don't want to. And I'm lazy as hell. I mean, people that know me are like, dang, girl, oh, you pretty lazy. I mean, in a good way. I'm like, I'm mellow, I guess would be a better way to say it than lazy. Like, I am not running no 5Ks anytime in the near future. I am not joining a soccer league anytime in the near future. I am Fallout 3 and laundry. That's it for me. Like, that's it. So I just wanted you to know you're not alone. And when you get into these places, all you can do is fake it till you make it. That's a slogan for AA, it's Alcoholics Anonymous, and basically it just means if you're really struggling with whether or not to do the dishes or to not do the dishes, do the dishes. <laughs> do the harder thing. Do the thing that makes, your, makes this part of your brain uncomfortable. Because the more that you do the right thing that makes this part of your brain, this past part that served you really well when you were in those situations and all of those survival strategies that you needed to get to where you are now to survive, you don't need them anymore. Let them go. Replace them with new healthy patterns. Let these go. Replace them with new healthy patterns. It's not easy. Trust me. It is really hard. But you can do the dishes. I have faith in you. I'm about to do mine. You can do yours. Love y'all. Bye.